Hey everybody, I got a bucket of worms. I've been breaking down more garden beds and collecting the worms here. Let me show you what I got. Worms, grubs, kissing beetles, whatever, whatever I can find. I'm putting it in there. I've broken down all of these. Uh, I think there was three or four logs here when I started that I didn't get chainsawed up the other day, but I got plenty of wood to work on. It's just gonna sit because these have been sitting in the in the dirt, kind of damp, moist. Let them dry out for a little bit. I'll cut up some of the smaller stuff, maybe today, I don't know. I'm tired. When I peeled the bark off of some of the logs, they were totally infested. Yeah, those are, those are termites. And yeah, the chickens love to eat them. Mainly Roxy. The other chickens don't want to get involved if Roxy's eating. Ha <laughs> ha. I hope they'll get some. But yesterday I showed you a product from Roosties, the feeder and waterers with the extendable legs. Well, they sent me something else and I'm gonna show them to you right now while I'm taking a break. Look at you guys, I got me some nesting box pads. Now I have tried the straw ones with the paper backing and they work pretty good, but the chickens like to like tear it apart. So these are all plastic, they are washable, and I don't know you guys, take a look at these. Do you think chickens will get up on them? I don't know, they feel soft. Um, I could imagine an egg dropping on it and not breaking. And they come in packages of six. And they come in one, two, three, four different colors. So let's just put them down in the boxes. That's a small tractor supply nesting box. And this is the large chicken coop that I've got out front. Fits like a glove. And this is how it looks in a, in just like a crate uh, nesting box. And here is Neighbor Dude's uh, nesting box build. These fit absolutely perfect. And I put another one down there, so yeah, let's shed some light on it. Oh, look it, look it. I've already got one chicken showing an interest. She's standing up. When I first came out here, she was sitting down, and uh, I don't know if you know this, but chickens lay their eggs standing up, so look it, she's in the zone. She is in the zone. I don't have time to stand here and wait for her to do it, though. Because look it, there's another one down below. Okay, this is Dubby's nesting box and she gave me an egg, hooray! This is Leatherface's crew. Oh, all three hens came in here and laid their eggs. So let's look at the main flock, bingo! I got four in one, two in another. None down there on the usual and customary bedding. I got two more right here. Oh, this is great. Well, she found the ash bucket. <laughs> Maybe she wants to take a dust bath. What a cutie. I got to thinking, I don't know if it's a good idea to let her in that ash bucket because she still has an open wound, but then I came across this. They did a test on uh, rabbit skin with wounds and they, well, I'll just let you read all of it, but um, they compared wood ash to like zinc, uh, polymyxin, B, bacitracin or whatever, and they discovered that the wound healed better with the wood ash or the charcoal ash or whatever. And uh, so yeah, I'm gonna let her get in that uh, dust bath all she wants. Okay, I just gotta share some good news with you. Um, uh, me and Papa went into town and I left Miss Peaches out in the yard just roaming around and I came home and all of this stuff was up off this table and I'm like, how did that happen? Oh my gosh. So look at that. Gotcha chicken poop. Miss Peaches flew up on top of this mess of a table. She knocked off all those boxes. She dumped bedding all over the place. 
and she is getting up on here and she is flying. So that is total progress. Today in all, I've got 16 eggs and they all fit very nicely down in this little egg gathering basket that Selena knitted. I don't know if it's knitted or crocheted, but I did ask her if she has any more, if she's going to make more, she wants to sell them and she says she does have one that's ready to go right now. I don't know if she's got an Etsy shop, she hasn't gotten back with me. But I really love this because I can stick my arm through the handles and have two free hands and collect eggs. I'm just inside cool enough. I've changed my shirt like three times and this one is already dirty. But anyhow, uh, about those nesting box pads, I'll put a link down in the description, you know, just, just like before, so that you can go and find them for yourself. I love them because they are washable. Sometimes a chicken will get up there and, and roost in a nesting box and you just have to, you know, you can shake it off or hose it down, do whatever you got to do. And you don't have like a, a messy bedding situation going on. So, yeah, I do recommend them. I like them and my chickens like them. Um, anyhow, uh, I'll let you know about the uh, egg carrying basket thingy. And uh, if she gets like an Etsy shop or something like that up, I'll let you know so that you can go check them out. Um, anyhow, uh, Pitches is doing great. I thought it was really interesting to find out that wood ash is good for wounds. Oh my gosh, well, at least in rabbits, I imagine it probably is on chickens as well. Phew, I'm tired. Before I forget, I do want to thank the people who have joined the channel, like joined the channel membership. I've got seven members so far. And this is just wonderful. And also, I want to let everybody else know, you don't have to join um, you know, like a membership to watch my videos. I may make some special videos for the people who are members, but the day-to-day -day stuff, uh, y'all are going to see it. And um, I know everybody can't afford to like join a channel membership, so don't worry about it. You watch my videos, you leave me comments, and you make me smile. And that's all that matters. Anyhow, I did want to thank the seven members. Um, I may make a thing at the end uh, listing their names, but I need to ask them if they want to be known. Um, and uh, as time goes by, more benefits and all that kind of good stuff. So, um, I think that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.